Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a little bit of a sad day, if we're being honest, because we wave goodbye to the greats of the game hero and icon cards that have arguably been the best promo since Team of the Year. I think that could be in question. Guys, this last week was so amazing with the pack weight, the crafting objective, the 85 fives, and these cards on this game with the upgrades for some of them, the SBCs were solid. It has been a great week. Now, with these cards going away today, though, we do know what is coming next, and that is a new team of Path to Glory live players. And this might bring its own levels of hype today because the games that are coming today for the Euro specifically and the games that have already even happened for Copa America and that are going to continue to come, there's a lot of hype because we are now in the knockouts for both competitions and it is all on the line. And that is what these cards are going to represent today. So we're going to take a look at the leaks. We have more confirmed cards based off that big list from yesterday and SBC leak as well. And what might happen to the market based on how things play out? A lot to discuss today, guys. If you're excited, for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now really quickly before we get into that let's look at the xp drop that ea released yesterday because it really tells us a lot about what they are expecting and wanting about this level 35 grind that we are all on right now in the last week of this season guys usually in the last week or two weeks of a season ea are dropping extra xp double xp for people to catch up that maybe miss some stuff along the way there was none of that yesterday on thursday it was the normal cup which is france it was the normal mixed nation the weekly objectives that was basically it. I think there was like 3,000 some, 3,000 some hundred XP that were dropped yesterday, which for myself, sitting at level 30, trying to get to level 35, I'm going to have to play rivals and champs to get all the XP that I can, a squad battles as well, even because it's going to be tight for me to get the Pushkas here at level 35. And I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat. I know some of you guys have already finished level 35 and you're on that side of things as well, but the XP was not easy to get this season. And it looks like there's not a whole lot much more coming in the last few days, unless EA have some surprises up their sleeve. But speaking of that big XP drop yesterday, one nation cup was France. And I think that was maybe one of the guest nations that we had in yesterday's video. It's still pretty easy to get this cup done. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have pretty good French teams. And as you would expect, since this wasn't really leaked ahead of time, French cards had a nice boom. Not all of them, but a lot of them had some price booms yesterday. Take a look at this Kefrem Taram. He went from 140,000 coins all the way to 220 in the peak of the buying, kind of the hour or two after content. He's now kind of settled back down a little bit at 170. But just take a look at some of the French cards you may have in your team. Renard went from 120 to 150. She's now back down to 125. So there definitely were some spikes in that first hour of the craziness. But now you do have some cards that are back down to where they were before the objective drop. So I think a lot of us probably have pretty good French teams as uh, regardless of buying players because there's been a lot of France cards dropped um, even during like team of the season as I was just looking through a lot of those cards. So many different French cards. So the only disappointing part about that yesterday is the fact that there just wasn't that much XP. Now let's go to SBCs and talk about the rest of the content that dropped yesterday. Of course, we had marquee matchups. Just the good old marquee matchups per usual. We'll get some tradable packs there. Send them, I guess, before the icons go out of packs just in case you get insanely lucky. Now, we had two player SBCs yesterday, and this is not the good one, but Javier Mascherano, an Argentinian live and upgrading card, he's got Anticipate, Intercept, and Power Header Plus as a center back. I mean, the Intercept and the Anticipate is very good. 90 passing as well. He can also play center defensive mid. It's not a terrible card. Five foot nine though, medium high work rates, four star, four star, really good defending stats, 99 reactions and 96 composure, along with the basically maxed short and long pass is very good as well. I mean, it's a good card. It is a good card. There's not too much else to say. It's good. The price though is the problem. The price is not good. 360,000 coins for a card that looks good, but needs and relies on the upgrades to get himself to a 95 and then that fourth place that plus added in for it to really be a worth it SBC in my opinion and after Argentina's first game that just got over a couple of hours ago they only have one goal to count towards that goal tally so he is not getting an upgrade and it was actually a really close game for Argentina we'll talk about here that here in just a second so maybe it's a nostalgia play for you maybe you're you wanting to use Mascherano because you haven't used him at all this year I mean I don't think 
I've used Mascherano this entire year of FC24, but there is a usable card for him if you want to craft it. Martins was the other SBC yesterday. This might be one of the best flashback SBCs that we've had in a hot minute five star five star unbelievable she's got what was it there was a martin's other card maybe it was a fantasy fc card that martin's had earlier on this year that a lot of people went crazy about because she was very very good in game power shot technical and whipped pass plus with the psg and Dutch links. That's actually a really interesting linking combination there for her. She's a left wing with 99 ball control, 99 curve with the whipped pass plus. Those crosses are going to be crazy. Every passing play style except for pinged. And then you, you love any card with technical power shot. Like that's a really solid card. Relentless as well. And the stats. I mean, look at that. Uh, mid to high 90s in every single category. Really, really solid card there, especially for the price coming in. Only 90K for her. So one squad. Again, I think that's the best flashback SBC of all of the ladies' flashbacks that they have dropped recently. I think that is the last one. Now, I just noticed I have one pack here. I forgot that I built this 83 plus team of the week pick. We will take a Salma P, put that in the club, and that's going to go towards an 85.5 that I was not able to get done yesterday that I have to work towards today. So that was all the content, guys, yesterday. It was a bit of a slower day, as Thursdays normally are. Let's go and talk about the upgrades, though, because we do have some upgrades that are going to be coming live into the game because of the Copa America first knockout game that just finished. Guys, we're taking a look at the Argentinian live cards because, technically... This was a upgrade, upgrading game for all of these Path to Glories, like DePaul, like Julian Alvarez, and even some of the cards that are going to come today in PTG Team 2, they should have this upgrade applied to them. DePaul is going to be going to a 98, guys. He is. Because this was, if you look at the additional information, this was the quarterfinal matchup that they had to win to get upgraded, right? The Copa America goes straight to the quarterfinals, so he should be going to a 98. Um, and then, of course, they win the semifinal, he goes plus one. And then if they win the final, he gets another plus one. So this will be a 98 uh, additional plus one upgrade for DePaul and for the other cards that are live path to glories because they're going to get that plus one, right? Um, the other thing I wanted to mention too is none of the icons or heroes are going to get upgraded because they only scored one goal. I believe unless Crespo has gotten, I'm not sure about Crespo. He's the only one. I think he's fully upgraded though because he has four play style pluses. Enzo's getting a plus one. McAllister actually is going to get a plus one as well because he had a second assist. Garnacho, nothing. Montiel had an appearance, but no clean sheet. And then Alvarez is going to get a plus one as well and go to a 96. So those are all the upgrades that are going to take place for Argentina. And it kind of gives us a little bit of a preview of what could be happening for the games today and into this weekend as one team is going to keep moving on in the competition and the other one's going to be going home, right? Ecuador goes home, which there's actually some Ecuadorians leaked for the promo coming today. Those cards are going to drop and they're not going to get any upgrades because they're out of the competition. So it's a, it's good that the Argentinian cards are getting upgraded. A lot of people have done SBCs and hoping or have been hoping for those upgrades, but we, I think, needed a bit more goals, especially if you had a Zanetti like I do or if you were going to do Mascherano, you were hoping for a few more goals there. But they're still in the tournament, still live, and Messi missed a penalty. Ronaldo missed a penalty. Messi missed a penalty. Crazy. What kind of world are we living in right now? Anyways, let's talk about the promo that is coming today, guys, featuring the man we just mentioned, Cristiano Ronaldo. We talked about this yesterday, right? Portugal play today. That's the real big caveat with a lot of these cards is they might be no longer live hours after the promo drops today now we do have some more leaks to talk about cr7 still headlining the promo still in but i do want to show you guys kind of the official team i do believe this was posted by asy foot trader remember that list the big list of players that we had yesterday a lot of those are in this but this is kind of the official leaked team as this is our guy that is leaking these teams just about every single week ronaldo griezmann shalhanoglu havertz sane taram big names in here kamavinga delict as well Mateus Nunez. Now, I will say this, guys, these are predicted stats. Of course, there's no playstyle pluses on these cards because it remains yet to be seen how EA is going to disperse those if they're going to be. Again, this is our biggest variable today. Will EA boost the stats up on these cards higher than maybe what we would have seen with the other Path to Glory cards since we're a little bit further on in the promo and some of them may not even get upgrades? 
or will they just keep it the same and kind of give the cards that have earned their upgrades for their nations winning into the knockouts, give them like the plus one or whatever, maybe the fourth play style plus if they've hit that, and just apply those upgrades kind of retroactively. That's the biggest question is how much are EA going to juice these cards? In my opinion, since there's no new card design type, I know this promo is called path to glory the knockouts like that is what it is called today there is no new card design in here in the game it's not been added to the code i really believe it's going to be the same live upgrading path so for these new cards that are coming out today like we just looked at full crook he's got four play style pluses because he earned it right i would think havertz and sane are also going to drop with four play style pluses but the France cards, like Saliba, have not gotten that third win. So I think Griezmann and Taram the, and Kamavinga are probably dropping with three playstyle pluses today. That's just my opinion. Now, there's potentially a lot of hype in that, though, because if France win against Portugal in that big game today, then not only are Griezmann and Taram and Kamavinga and Saliba going to get a fourth playstyle plus, but since it is a quarterfinal matchup, they would also get a plus one overall. So there's double upgrades on the line for some of the cards today too. And that's why I think EA is going to keep the whole upgrade system the same. But that's a really, really big part of it. And then as we already mentioned, the biggest problem with this promo team today are the players that are already knocked out. Like you look down here, we have, I think one of the nationalities is wrong on some of these players, but we have a couple of Ecuadorian players who are going to be dropped today that are completely out of upgrades because they're out of Copa America. And like we've already mentioned today on this game, that's going to happen for two more nations in the Euros and another nation in Copa America, right? Because we have Spain, Germany. It's going to be disappointing at this stage because there's so many people that want Spain card to get upgraded or Germany cards to get upgraded. Same thing with Portugal and France. But two of the four teams are going home today. And that means from all of these nationalities, a lot of live cards are going to be rendered quote unquote useless because they will not get any more upgrades. Guys, there might be eight to 10 players from the promo team that is dropped today in packs that are no longer live and upgrading if a certain country loses. And that's kind of crazy. And I think it's actually going to hurt the hype a little bit on some of these cards. It's obviously going to make for some pretty crazy price swings as well. We're going to be watching that really close today because there could be a lot of profit to be made if a team scores, but also a lot of people could lose coins if a team gets scored on. So that's one really, really interesting thing that we're going to have to be watching. And then, of course, we always have the questions about the pack weight, right? The pack weight for this promo first time around of Path to Glory, it wasn't bad. It really wasn't. Remember how cheap some of these cards were? Now, of course, a lot of them have come back down in value. But if we take a look back at some of the prices of the PTGs when they were first dropped, like these guys weren't that crazy expensive. This De Young card was 1.3 mil. And uh, yeah, he's still 1.3, but he went all the way up to 2 million coins for that card there. I think Kyle Walker, who's of course 800K now, he was 900K, went to 1.4 course you've had a lot of drop-offs because of the icons really impacting the market but i just remember during P path to glory like i packed Olmo, i packed all the fodder cards you can kind of tell when a promo has decent pack weight by how often you're even packing the fodder cards and during that week of content we were packing a lot of those players so i have hopes that the pack weight kind of like it was for the icons this last week is solid now there's probably not going to be a new crafting objective because that's still there and still around but hopefully with a better player pick dropping on the weekend on monday it'll be a good time to be grinding packs for the new cards that get dropped today or today on friday and then have upgrades going forward so that's kind of my hope for today but guys let's be honest I don't 100% think that the hype from Greats of the Game Team 2 is going to transfer into today. I think it's going to be a little bit of a drop-off, and I want to talk about that in relation to the market here in just a second. Let's, however, focus on the content that is coming today first and talk about one of those leaked Portuguese players. Now, this one, just like the others, is really dependent upon who wins today. If they don't drop a juiced Diogo Jota card straight from the get-go... I don't know how many people are going to do this SBC and I don't know how much hype this SBC is going to have because who's going to go and do an SBC for a player? Let's say it's like five, 600,000 coins for this Jota. When they play literally two hours, three hours after content, and by then, four hours after content, you're going to know if this card who's an SBC is going to be getting any more upgrades. And if Portugal lose and Ronaldo and Portugal are out of the Euros, 
then this card is going to have a lot less hype unless he's boosted already and has four playstyle pluses, which he should because uh, the Portuguese cards like Ruben Diaz already have four playstyle pluses. They've hit that upgrade, so he should be dropping with four. He's got to be boosted though stat-wise, and he's got to be at a decent price for it to be a card that you still want even if Portugal lose. And then if they win, then it would be crazy. So I think there's going to be a lot of mixed emotions around this Jota today. We're really going to have to see. And here's the other thing. I haven't seen as many showdowns recently as I really want to see. I think EA's got a really, really awesome opportunity right here to drop some showdown players for these games that are upcoming. They're going to have to be quick turnaround showdowns, though. Like, just imagine if we had a showdown today for England versus Switzerland, right? A 24-hour showdown where you have just one day to decide what player of the SBC2 that you could do, or do both if you want, but of course, it wouldn't make sense because only one can win and get the plus two upgrade. Since this is a knockout round, that would be so hype, right? Drop one for Netherlands and Turkey as well, right? Even yesterday, they should have dropped one for Portugal, France, and, or Spain, Germany. That that would have been super dope and i hope they do some of that here in the next couple of days but again i'm just worried that they won't do many more showdowns um maybe until like the semi-final or the final because there's really really short turnaround between when you know who gets matched up i mean they would have had to drop these spcs a couple of days ago and i like the short turnaround hype i think that just kind of adds into the hype of the game if they were to do that like 24 hours to do you know who knows a english player spc versus switzerland so I think that'd be really cool. And I think Fridays have been days where they've been dropping showdowns. So we'll have to watch out for that and cross our fingers that they do. Now, other Friday content and SBCs that I would expect today would be the 79.3 Best of Nations upgrades going away. There's a new 80 times 3 that's in the code. I think there should be that pack dropping today as well. Maybe that one ends up being better than the 81 plus player pick. That's something to keep an eye on today, as well as any other knockout related content, because this is right path to glory, the knockout. So we'll see if they drop any knockout related SBCs or something like that. And maybe they do something in evolutions as well. Fridays for a new promo, they always drop a new Evo, right? We're really curious to see what they drop today in evolutions. Last call, if you're doing any of the Euro or Copa midfielder Evos here as those are unlocking expiring in a just a day today. So really watch out for evolutions. Like here's another idea for Evos that they could have, right? Evo a player from any knockout country, right? We've had these country specific Evos like USA, Netherlands, and Brazil. Give us an Evo that's like max, you know, 88 or 89 rated with a good boost from any of the countries that are in the knockouts of Copa America or the Euros. That would be cool, right? And that would kind of put a knockout spin on it and kind of fall in line with the promo. I hope they do something like that. We'll see. We don't have any leaks. We haven't had a lot of leaks for evolutions, at least real ones. So I'm curious to see what we get there today as well. Last thing I want to talk, out is, uh, talk about is store packs and supply today a little bit too. That'll kind of get us into the market segment of the video. And also I want to take a look at a really interesting store pack that doesn't have anything to do with PTG cards. That is the best of Brazil encore duo pack and it kind of makes sense to be released this weekend because of course we have the brazil weekend league although the reward for that being not the best uh with the mario gomez card but this pack is really interesting and i know for a fact that ea is going to get a lot of people to open this because the player pool is really insane and it's really small this is a pack that includes two brazilian only team of the season tots moments path to glory make your mark greats of the game player items and it does not include Path to Glory Team 2, uh, but that's a really small player pool. That means you have R9, you have Dino, you have Zico, Roberto Carlos are in there. You've got Rodrigo, make your mark, Martinelli, Jan Cotto. You've got a good amount of Brazilian Tots cards, right? Like, um, you know, Allison, he's going to be everywhere. Savio, he's going to be everywhere. But you've got Tots Neymar that would be in there. Path to Glory, you've got Bruno Guimaraes and Eder Militao. So, like, there's tremendous upside on this pack. They're going to overprice it. It's going to be expensive with coins. Before in stream, we were guessing, like, four to 400,000 coins. I could even see it being 500. Like that should be way overpriced for a pack that includes two singular players in it, right? But like, come on, they're going to overprice that because they know the player pool is really, really small. So that's a really interesting pack there. That one we might try out today. We'll see how much it costs. Then there's also some of these knockout specific packs. And then this one's really interesting too. Top 16 player pick grab bag, but it says grab bag on it. So, um, 
you know, this could be something that we see in SBCs. I'm really curious. Also, the ID number, look at these, like ID 1720, 1721, 1722, and then ID 4349. I know I'm reading into the technicalities here, but I have no idea what that means. So I don't know if this is a store player pick or if it is a like SBC. I hope this is like an SBC that's multiple times repeatable. That would be kind of cool, um, especially that would give you a chance at a player from the current promo side. So that's my hope for that being an SBC, but we'll have to see. This is like the big duo guarantee, like the 650 or 725K pack, you would call it. Uh, we'll probably see that later on in the weekend. But I wanted to kind of touch on those store packs because that might actually impact the market. And of course, on Fridays, there's always lightning rounds and they're putting a freaking Cristiano Ronaldo in packs, guys. So if we talk about the market and we talk about fodder for a second, you absolutely know that people are going to be opening packs today. Um, and we don't, of course, you know, really talk about that in a positive way regarding FC points. We're going all free to play always with coins only. But a lot of people are going to be opening packs today because there's a Ronaldo, because there's a Griezmann in packs for sure. And just like every single Friday, I do believe fodder is going to get supplied from the tradable lightning rounds. It all depends on what tradable lightning rounds they drop. You know, like some of the lightning rounds don't supply fodder that much and others of them like go crazy. Like the 85.7 tradables, the 84.10 tradables that they put out there as well really go nuts for fodder. And if they do some of that, then some of this stuff could really take a big hit. This is always a good day if you're on a low budget to trade with this fodder on bids because nobody's grinding bids in this game in July. But if you really need to make coins, hop on bids for 88s. You'll probably win them. They'll be like 8K on the market, but you'll be winning them at mid price 6K. You can sell them for 8K and make boom, 2K uh, card, 2K a card and then just repeat that over and over and over. That's a good thing to do today. Or you could just get on some bids for this fodder stock in your club. Hopefully 89s drop down a good amount as well because I mean, with the icons going out of packs, there might be less people buying 89s, 90s, and 91s for the exchanges. That's one thing to watch out for today, but I think fodder will be dropping. That could be a good investment during the weekend. The other things I would say is these grades of the game cards. like. I'm really interested in watching some of these card prices today. I know some of them have been fluctuating already. I know some of them are up. Look at this Maldini. He's 1.9 mil. What was he all day yesterday? Between 1.7, 1.9. He's already gone up. I think some of these icons are going to rise today just because I think people are going to see the new promo team. They're going to be like, man, half this promo team is literally not going to be live or a majority of the promo team is going to not be live after the next couple of days because they're going to be out of the tournaments entirely. I think that some of these greats of the game cards are going to rise up because they are the more hyped cards than what will be dropped today. Unless EA surprises, we've we'll got to keep that caveat out there unless EA surprises us there. Uh, but the thing you have to worry about with these cards is like Mateus, cool, right? Sick card. You know, people are, might be investing in this because they think Germany are going to win today against Spain. Well, let's say Spain wins. What's going to happen to Mateus? It's probably going to drop off a little bit, even though Spain have got all of their upgrades. So take that into account when you're investing in a few of these cards. But I just have to think that the popular and some of the more rarer cards that have not gone up yet are probably going to rise some. Like Roberto Carlos is somebody who's on my radar for sure. Um, depending on what left backs we see in the promo team that is released today, just taking a quick look through the team. I mean, unless the new Havers card is a left back, who else is a left back in here? Maybe Kamavinga can play left back. So you have a couple of options. Nobody really. Wendell. Okay, maybe Wendell could hurt Roberto Carlos if his new card is really crazy. But this would be the type of card that maybe still goes up out of packs because he's rare. He's Roberto Carlos. Everybody likes to use a card like that. And it's the best version of Carlos that we've had in this game for a while. He's an insane card. He's got all of his upgrades. Doesn't have to worry about that already. So that's something to kind of consider. I do believe that some of these cards will actually rise up out of packs. So that's kind of my thoughts for the content today. If it's not that crazy and if it kind of goes how we think it's going to go is like eh, just it's good but not great. I could see some of these cards that um, have started to go up already continue to go up with the hype of them leaving packs and being better than what is actually in packs with PTGs. But I do still hold out hope that the promo today with these cards included, because there are some nice names, Gonzalez, Martinez, Lo Celso, Pelestri, Douglas Luiz, even that Vendel card 
could be pretty good. And then, of course, Ferran Torres, man. I can't remember the last time I used a special version of Ferran Torres. That'll be dope. This Griezmann will be crazy. Um, Delict, Mateus Nunez might be nice. Even the English cards, Gallagher, Watkins, and Stones. One of them is going to be boosted like crazy and be like 96 rated. You have to imagine. So I hope that EA juice this stats today and give us something to be a little bit excited about heading off of a promo that is probably going to be argued as one of the best of the entire year. So EA, let's keep the hype train rolling. We'll be in the stream today, guys, watching all the content, seeing how it drops and watching the market, of course, as well. So if you want to drop in there, that link is down below in the description. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys today in the stream. Have a happy, great Friday. See you there. It's been Nathan Foot Account and catch you there. Peace out.